Hello, my Gucci girls. What's up? Um, today we are going to focus. Please. Literally, just, just focus. Focus on me. Um, so today I was just going to do a thingy move upper video about <sighs> binders at the beginning of the year. Um, so then I hopefully will remind myself at the end of the year, which I probably won't have them, but I'll, I, I will probably make a video, maybe, maybe, I'm not promising, <laughs> please don't kill me, um, that I might make a video on my binders at the end of the year because everybody cares. I'm just really bored, do you feel me? So like, yeah, let's just go. Okay, so just noted that all of these binders... I got from Office Depot, and they're the Everbinder, Everbinders. <gasps> oh my gosh! Also, I am missing my math binder because I did not have homework in there, and I was like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not carrying that. So let's start off with my, let's start off with my fourth period class, shall we? We shall. Okay, this needs to move. Bye-bye. Um, so this is it, and my lighting is awful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It is currently about to rain, and I am at a bad angle. Uh, a little. Mm -hmm. It's still bad, but I don't care. Um, so here is my fourth and fifth period binder. So this class is my reading and writing class um and i would always have it like this and all of my binders are in order by my periods in my class so whenever you open it up it has these it's a three ring binder and these need to move but i i currently do not have a lot of room on my desk as you can see <laughs> so um it has these pockets and um right now i just have an, a homework assignment and a student diagnostic report um and a game that was for math and i have no idea why it's in my reading binder but it just is so oh i get why because i took this one to my third period class so that i wouldn't have to go to my locker so i just randomly put that in in third period, I have a math, a different math class. Um, so that opens, and it has the one touch theme of uppers, and I have a college, um, a college ruled composition notebook, 100 sheets, which I will show you that in a couple of minutes. Then my first tab divider is bell work and you can't see it but that's fine um i need to use my label maker to label these because we just labeled them in class so my first section is bell work which i just have my bell work basically we do bell work on just like a regular sheet of notebook paper it's just like action verbs and all of that stuff we just did bell work number three action verbs and um this is just like a thingy of upper on um, how to do your bell work. That's bell work one. Then I just have random pieces of notebook paper right here. Then you would probably get it. Then I have my spelling. No idea if you can see that. Probably can't. But um, my spelling. Uh, little divider and that just has notebook paper in it and then I have my note section which has nothing in it because we haven't taken any notes in class um, then I have my vocabulary which has nothing in it then my writing and then um, we have paper in my writing section also then I have my little I read thing. 
and that just has a pink recording sheet in it with also someone of the creeper. Then I have graded work and she has not handed back any graded tests or anything. And then I just have extra paper, which, because I'm extra. So those are all of my tab dividers. And as I said, it's the one touch thingy buffer. So now we're going to get into the composition notebook. We currently have not done a lot in this um, book. But I think we've only done maybe like... Um... Maybe to page like 11 or 12. Um, that's how far I know that we've gone. So, like, um, at the first page is the table of contents. And of course, you can't see it. Like, when would you ever be able to see my video? Um, then, so the first thing is on page one, entry, no, on page seven, entry number one, brain test, um, entry number two is writing process, notes on page eight, um, entry number three is pre-writing, writers, tools, um, nine through fourteen, Entry four is reading strategies 15 through 21. So, um, let's flippy do you do a da on down to. Yes? Are you done with your homework? Yes. Yes. That was just my mom. Don't mind her. She's like a really sweet girl. Um, mom. So, right here's the brain test worksheet. Um,. We don't take very many notes in our binder. We just take notes in here. So then right here is page eight, the writing process. Um, then we do, we did the pre-writing writers tools um, listing. So we just did a list of things you can't imagine life without. Then we did a free writing um, we just labeled, um, a Venn diagram on the next page, page 11, which we haven't done that yet. And then we did a pros and cons, um, to Fortnite because my teacher is like that and she's like really awesome. Um, who, what, when, and where, and why, and how. Um, was one of the things that we had to write down in our notebook. Then I think that's pretty much it in this notebook. The, um, she keeps it, this notebook, in class. It's just that I had to have this for the homework assignment that she had given out today. So this is my binder, and I just carry it from class to this fourth and fifth period class because we go to fourth period we do that stuff then it whenever the ending of fourth period bell rings we get a break and we i go to my locker to get my lunch and i go back um then we have 10 minutes um to write down our bell work then we go to lunch so that's the binder for that and so that is a one and a half inch thick binder so is my math binder which i do not bring and yeah the only difference with my math binder is that that one has a textbook in it and also a um spiral notebook for alex and it really stinks so we're going in order so after um, fourth and fifth period, I go to sixth period Scans Clars. This is a one inch binder, one inch thick binder. It isn't that thick. Um, but right here in the pocket, I have a pink science club sheet. I don't think I'm gonna do it this year because, no, 
know what's not happening today. Because I wanted to do yearbook committee, which I've never done before, which I've had chances in other years, but I just haven't. Um, so then I have this folder to keep extra stuff that she wants us to, that we shouldn't put in here, I guess. Then, um, uh, I have, we played a game called Skunk today, so I just quickly clipped that in and went to 7th period. Then, um, I just have this empty slip, I just put that in the spring binders because I want to. Um, <laughs> then we have empty tab dividers, just empty. Um, I have to label these, um, later tonight, um, cause I'm just gonna divide my paper for notes so that I know, um, what to limit myself to on how much notes I should be taking, and also because I'm extra. Um, but in the back is the paper that I'm going to be dividing up. And so basically we have barely anything it's just that I work in this binder I just like clip the papers in and I just go la di da di da and so that's the one inch binder and it's green and as I said it's the ever binder and these are all d-ring because I don't take anything but d-ring and these are like really sturdy um and it just says science on the front and science on the side. Um, so yeah, this is six period. This is all that I take, plus a f an another folder, which I probably shouldn't be taking that folder everywhere because then I can just keep all of my papers in this little binder area. And I just realized that my this is a very long, exaggerated video. And so then my next period finder is social studies and we have um my homework that i turned in early so that he could grade it and tell me what i did wrong so that i could turn it in the next day so that next day is tomorrow so i only missed two problems which is good um so then i just have it an empty folder for no reason. Probably not gonna keep anything in this folder. It's just that they just said that you had to have one and it's really weird. Was that a flash? Um, but in here I just take notes, like a lot of notes. Um, I didn't have any notes for today. Like this is the sheet of paper that I used today. I just said no notes today. Um, I just, whenever he's doing a lecture, I just start writing it down because, you know, you never know whenever the teacher is going to say something and they might not say that it's going to be on the test, but it probably will be. So, that is it. Um, it's the beginning of the year. It's like the third week of school. So, let's see... I'm curious to see what my binder will look like. My binders will look like on, um, at the end of the year. Like, maybe, like, the last day of school. And this is a very long video, and I'm very sorry. So, bye. Bye, my Gucci girls. Make sure you subscribe and like if you are new to my channel. I really like to know your feedback if you comment and stuff. So, yeah.